In this week's highlight clip presented by AT&T, the Eastern Kentucky men's basketball team earned a pair of OVC wins over Austin P and Tennessee State. On December 29th, the Colonels trailed by 10 with less than five minutes left before rallying for a 67-65 win over Austin P. EKU forced four turnovers down the stretch and Joshua Jones finally tied the game with a jumper in the lane. Jones sealed the win with two free throws seconds later. On December 31st against Tennessee State, the Colonels roared out to a 41-17 halftime lead as EKU knocked down six three-pointers. Jerron Jones led all players with 24 points while Dimitri Riggs chipped in with 16 points as Eastern held on for a 73-68 triumph. On to women's basketball where the Lady Colonels closed out the 2011 calendar year in grand fashion. Eastern shot 57% in the second half on its way to a 79-59 victory over visiting Tennessee State on Saturday at McBrayer Arena. EKU held the Lady Tigers to 27% shooting and 28 points in the second half. After a three-pointer by Tennessee State's Jasmine Schuler made it a two-point game in favor of Eastern with 10.45 left to play, the Lady Colonels went on an 11-2 run to take control. A tray by Rachel Gray capped the run and made it an 11-point game with 8.04 to go. Marie Carpenter led Eastern Kentucky with 17 points. LaRae Allen finished with 13 points and 10 rebounds. Gray contributed 12 points and 7 assists. On Monday, the Lady Colonels turned the ball over nine times in the first six and a half minutes, trailed by 13 late in the first half, staged a second half comeback to take a seven point lead, but couldn't hold off Austin P in a 66 to 63 loss. With a one point lead, APSU's Whitney Hanley connected on two free throws with 12 seconds left. EKU's Carla Booth got a good look at a game tying three pointer with three seconds to go, but the ball didn't fall through. Carpenter led Eastern with 19 points. 